guys and welcome to my channel. Here on Abby the Witch, we do witchy and alternative things. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. It means the absolute world to me. And if you are new here, hi, welcome, nice to meet you, and thank you so much for joining us today. So here today on Abby the Witch, we are going to be doing a little mini haul, if you will. Um, I got a few new things from a metaphysical shop and I also got something offline as well. So just a laid back, chill video today, um, show you some new things that I got. And I was really excited and wanted to show somebody that really understood me. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So before I show you guys what I got, I wanted to give a shout out. My shout out today is actually The Playful Soul. Um, that is the metaphysical shop that I went to and got a couple of new things. Um, I will definitely show some footage in this video of the store itself. It's a beautiful little shop. They have all kinds of wonderful things. They have handmade oils, they have jewelry, they have tons of different tarot, oracle decks, books, crystals upon crystals. Um, they have all kinds of stuff and you guys will see in the footage too um, just how neat and eclectic the store is and how many things they have to offer. Um, they also offer different spiritual services, such as readings, like tarot readings, psychic readings, um, yoga. They have different meditation classes that you can take, um, lots of different instructors and spiritual workers there, all kinds of stuff. Reiki, I believe they have a Reiki master there. So definitely go check them out. They have an Instagram. Um, definitely check them out, show them some love. Um, if you're here locally, it's definitely worth a visit for sure. Um, show them some love, small business, man, support it. Um, so anyway, guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, guys, so the first thing I got from The Playful Soul was actually this Oracle deck. Um, if you guys have seen any of my other videos about tarot or any of my readings that I posted on my IGTV, you know that I have the Animal Spirit. Um, also by Kim Kranz, Kim Kranz, I'm not sure how to say her name. Um, it's also called the Wild Unknown, just like her Animal Spirit deck. This one is called Archetypes though. Um, haven't explored it too much. I'll open it up here in just a second and show you guys. This is just the sleeve that it came in. I just wanted to give you guys kind of a glimpse of what I saw when I first bought it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's a very cool deck. It's really cool. Like I said, it's it's definitely one of those decks that you need to read, at least me. I, you guys know me, I'm kind of a bookworm and a nerd, so I like to read all the information first, but especially with this deck, I would say that um, you really wanna get to know it before using it because it is such a specific setup. Um, and you guys will see when I show you. Um, so there's the sleeve. Just set that around. So here's the box it comes in. And I'm classic, the wild unknown fashion. It has a magnet, beautiful box. It has a ribbon. So you can just pop the book right out. Um, the book is great. Like I said, it's definitely broken up in a very specific way. I don't think you guys can see that. Dang it. Um, but definitely broken up into specific ways, like, or in specific categories, I'm sorry. The first category is the selves, the places, the tools, the initiations. Okay, so it's broken up into in that way, right? Each card is its own thing though. That's what makes it an Oracle card deck to me. Um, but it's just like, it's very unique. It's very different from any Oracle deck that I've ever seen or worked with. Um, I mean, I only own one other Oracle deck, but you guys know what I mean. Um, Definitely want to read through it more and just kind of get to know like how she originally created it to be used. Does that make sense? I always just, I feel like part of the reason I read from the book so much too is because I feel like it's respectful to the creator. Um, I mean, they put so much time and effort into it. They put so much intention into it. They, you know, they their heart went into it. So I, I at least want to respect them and, and read through the book first and just see like what their original intention was with this book, um, if that makes sense. And then as I use decks, I will um, use my intuition as I'm reading it. But yeah, definitely need to look through this book first. Like I said, it's uniquely set up. It's very unique to any Oracle deck that I've ever um, 
ever owned. So anyway, go ahead and look at the cards. Another ribbon to pop it out. Here's the box that the actual cards come in. They are circle cards. It's very interesting. It's very unique. A little harder to shuffle, <laughs> not gonna lie, but um, super cute, little diamond. Here's the back. Diamond back, love that. Get another ribbon, love that as well. Pop this out. And inside, oh, it's a little another diamond. But I, I love the lid too, because it's a pearl. So there's a diamond and a pearl. I don't know if that has to do with, I mean, I look at it as like emotion and reasoning, of course, but that's, you know, of course, that's how my brain works. Anyway, so here are the back of the cards. Again, they're circle. Um, but yeah, gnosis, agape. So you see what I'm saying? Like they're just, there's a, they're very unique cards and you really got to get to know the meaning of them. At least I do. Um, like I said, like, because they're so unique and specific, like she clearly put a lot of thought and time into these cards. Right. So I want to respect her and look at the original intention, the original meaning of the cards first before I really like dive into it. Um, but yeah, beautiful cards, the ocean. Right, black pearl. I think that's, a, yeah, that's a black pearl. Um, let's see, the offering. Now I'm not gonna lie, I did definitely draw from this deck already once. Just again, to kind of get a sense of it. And um, I got the mask the first time. Uh, Jackson, my cat's rubbing on the, he's such a naughty, naughty, little needy boy. He's a naughty boy. Yes, you are, okay. But anyway, that was the Oracle deck that I got, the Wild Unknown Archetypes. Kim Kranz, always here for a good deck. <laughs> um, the eternal child i mean they're just so beautiful they're so beautiful and specific right the mother the father mm. the starborn like come on specific the mentor um the cave you know and <clears throat> if you are a very intuitive person which you know me i'm both i'm intellectual and intuitive um then yeah, I guess you could just dive right into it. But again, I would really suggest like getting to know the deck first, reading through the book. Um, and like I also said, if anything, just to respect the creator. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys what else I got from the Playful Soul. All right guys, so I didn't get much else. I got one other thing from the actual store itself. I do have one other thing to show you guys, but that I didn't get from the Playful Soul, but this was the Last thing that I got from the Playful Soul, along with the Oracle deck that I got, I got a Snowflake Obsidian. I wanted to get one of these for so long. Um, absolutely love this guy. I mean, I like fiddle with him all the time. Oh, it's just so, um, what's the word? Satisfying to just put your, there's like a little divot. I just put my thumb in there and just, oh, it's so smooth and lovely. We all know I have an obsession with black crystals, black stones. <laughs> um, obsidian, I learned, did not know this, is actually like a lava volcanic rock. And I forget what snowflake obsidian specifically, like how it gets its specs. It has something to do with like, as it crystallizes in the lava or something. I mean, obviously I'm not a scientist, so I'm probably not saying this right, but. <laughs> It's just like different pockets of pressure or something like that, I think. So it causes di the, like specks of discoloration. I think, I don't know, don't quote me on that. Um, I think I interpreted that right. But anyway, uh, the metaphysical properties of the stone is beautiful. It is amazing. Um, I, like I've been saying, I'm all about balance and working on balancing my spirits, my mind, my body even, and having like a beautiful balance between all of those things. And even before I got this stone, I was like, you know what? I bet that stone could really help me out with balance. 
and I looked it up and it's actually known for that. Um, so I felt it. It was just like a calling, like I had to get it. <laughs> um, I felt what its metaphysical properties were. It's definitely, I've meditated with it like every day at this point since I've gotten it. Um, definitely has been helping me out with my candle gazing and my manifesting, um, my meditation. So yeah, like I said, the playful soul, they have so many different crystals, tumbled stones. Um, and I found snowflake obsidian there. I was super excited. Like I said, I've been wanting this one for a while. And when I saw this one specifically, I was like, oh yeah, balance need it right now in my life. <laughs> and I'm glad I did because yeah, it's like I said, it's really been helping me out. So yeah, so those are the two things I got from the playful soul. Let me show you guys what I got online. All right, guys, so the last thing I was gonna show you guys today is a new tarot deck that I got. Um, I've been wanting this deck for so long. I know it's it's pretty popular. I don't even know why I even say that with popular decks. It's like, who cares? I'm gonna show it anyway, so why does it matter? <laughs> but anyway, um, I got the Murder of Crows tarot. So excited, been wanting this for so long now, like a very long time. And it's a very dark deck, but I love it. Um, I'll just show you. Here's the box that it comes in. It slides, slides open like this. That's cool. I didn't even notice it was a red crow. Closes like that. I don't use the box. I actually got the pouch, the matching pouch. Um, as you can see, he's sitting on top of his pentacle. I believe this is the, um, image that they use on the Ace of Pentacle card, I believe. Um, so yeah, that's a very nice pouch. Fits the deck perfectly. Get those out for you. Okay, so I'll show you guys the deck first. I know that's what we all wanna see. Um, the, the back is pretty, very simple. Um, actually, I haven't really looked closely at it. What are those? Are those eyes? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> comment down below. What do you guys think that is? I know my camera doesn't do the best with close-ups, but I think it's eyes. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but the images, I'm obsessed with. I mean, can we just, can we just appreciate for a second um, like I said, I haven't used this deck very much. Well, I don't think I have said that. I haven't really used this deck that much because um, it's brand new. Um, but I have I have done one spread with it just because it is so close to just, it, it, it does align with traditional tarot, the suit of swords. Um, but as you can see, the images are just super dark. They're obviously black and white. Um, you can see on the bottom too, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says the number and the symbol that it's affiliated with. So five of pentacles, right? It's, in my opinion, I love that. I think it's so much easier to read because <laughs> um, I'm terrible at Roman numerals <laughs> and I'm too lazy to learn it. So there you go. Beautiful, beautiful images. If you're into dark imagery, I love dark imagery. There's the King of Cups. Ugh, look at him. Handsome son of a bitch. Yeah, King of Cups. Knight of Cups, I believe that's the Page of Cups. So let me show you guys some of the Arcana, Major Arcana. Which now, the Major Arcana, I will say, see they're all mixed up, but you know, I'm, I get a little too superstitious sometimes when I mess with. <laughs> um, yeah, here's some, there's like the High Priestess, or I'm, I apologize, I believe that's the Empress. There's another Minor Arcana. Okay, yeah, here is like, uh, that's the World, I think. Um, here's the Moon, the Star. Oh, sorry, I'm going too fast. There's the Moon. There's the Star. I mean, I just am like, ugh, stop it. The tower. Justice. Love that. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, here's death. Give it to me. This is, I believe this is temperance. So definitely another deck that you really, <clears throat> really need to get familiar with because the images are so different. I mean, you can definitely guess what they are if you're if you're familiar with traditional tarot er images. Um, but yeah, obviously they're not the exact same. The devil, you can see the crow has the devil horns, traditional devil horns, male and female, doing sexual acts. <laughs> Um, the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, the Hermit. So anyway, I'm not going to show the whole deck. I just wanted to show you guys kind of like what I got. Um, but yeah. Show you guys the book really fast. The book is just a typical... Um, just, you know, little book that you can flip through and get the creator's interpretation of the cards. It also has, I believe it has um, Spanish and let's see, what else does it have? Spanish and French, I believe. Definitely, yeah. Definitely has Spanish. Might have French, I'm not sure, but English is in the front. Um, gives you a good interpretation, gives you the key words that goes with it as well. So just your typical book. Just your typical book, okay? Murder of Crows Tarot. If you're into dark stuff, get it. If you work with crow energy, get it. All right, guys, so that's it for today. I hope you liked my little mini haul. Um, Thank you again, Playful Soul, for allowing me to show footage and film in your store. Um, thank you so much, I appreciate it. And I'm actually, this is when I'm going to show the footage of me going into the store. So like I said, if you guys live locally, go check them out. At least go follow them on Instagram if you don't live locally. Um, show them some love and some support. And yeah, that's about it, guys. So until next time, I hope you stay well. Thank you so much. Bye.